So before we actually start the tutorial, this works for the iPhone 2G, 3G, and the iPod Touch 1st and 2nd generation. And this also works best in Windows 7, I haven't tried Windows 10 or 11, but generally these kinds of old jailbreak stuff work best on Windows 7 or XP. So we're just gonna go to the web browser right here to actually download the files. So here we're just gonna type white door. So you're gonna scroll down and then you're just gonna click here on this one. You're gonna click on the parent folder. And uh, for this one, we're just gonna select the latest 5.2.1 because that's more recent. We're just gonna scroll down. So in my case, since I have an iPod Touch 2G, I'm just gonna click here and download. It's just gonna say your download will start shortly. You're just gonna wait your five seconds and then it's gonna start downloading. And there we are, there we have it getting downloaded down here. Now that the file is saved, we can go to the file explorer. I'm just gonna go to the downloads. We're gonna right click on the file extract all and then extract so there we have the extracted files and for those people who have an ipod touch second generation as we can see here it says not compatible with mc so this does not work with the mc model only the mb model now we're just gonna get to the device here first of all we're just gonna plug it to the computer like so there you go So now that your device is plugged in, you're just going to power it off. You're just going to slide to power off. Now we can go to the app iRib, which I will provide a link to in the comment section. We're just going to click on yes, and it's going to open the app. Now um, you're going to select the device, in my case, the iPod Touch 2G. Now you're going to press both the power and the home button until the screen goes black. So first of all, you're going to see this Apple logo. This is going to go black. And then you're just going to release the power button and keep pressing the home button until you hear the sound. There you go. Now for my case, since I, my computer doesn't mainly run uh, Windows 7, I'm just going to have to keep updating the drivers. So I'm just going to do like this. There we go. Now the device is finally in Pwn DFU mode. So now what we can do is exit the app and finally go to iTunes. I recommend iTunes version 11.2 because for me, it works best with all this kind of uh, jailbreak stuff. So now I'm just going to unplug and then I'm just going to update the drivers so that we get the new dfu mode the pwn dfu mode driver so i'm just gonna go to settings on usb click the plus icon boom click dfu mode okay show and then unplug replug There we go, iTunes has detected an iPod in recovery mode. Click OK. But then you're just, now you're gonna hold the shift button while, and then click uh, restore iPod. You click restore iPod while holding shift. So now we're gonna go to wherever we save the file. In my case, we're gonna find the folder right here. It's always gonna be in downloads, at least for my case. Now I'm gonna click on open. I'm gonna select the IPSW file and click on open. Now it's gonna extract the software. Now it's going to show this white screen, so I'm just going to update the drivers again. There we go. Now we have the Apple logo right here. It's gonna be careful with the whole switching of the drivers. I'm gonna go to Apple Inc. iPod. 
then boom and show. Now we're just gonna unplug and replug. There we go, now it says waiting for iPod. So at this moment, you're just gonna wait for this line to fill up right here and then it's gonna be restored. There we go, now the iPod has been restored and my wallpaper has disappeared. So now you're gonna get this iTunes screen and what you wanna do is again enter iTunes then plug your iPod in. And there we go, your iPod has been successfully restored, but we're still not done yet because some things still look pretty funky and ugly. So now what we're going to do is force restart it by holding the power and the home button. And then we're going to wait for it to boot up. You're going to see the screen turns black and then we get the Apple logo. Now the theme is applied correctly. As we can see, we finally have a home screen wallpaper. So thank you guys for watching. A sub would be appreciated. If you're having any problems, then do let me know in the comment section below. And I hope this helped. Peace.